what's important to you. Now if you've been listening to this podcast for long or watch any of these videos on YouTube, you will have heard me mention the little selfishness in your customer in that we all have this slogan or this mantra in our head that is called what's in it from me. Now we all look at the world through that lens. We look at products, we look at cars, we look at creams, we look at, we basically look at everything, houses, whatever we are looking to purchase or to be involved with from that mantra of what's in it for me. How is it going to make me better looking? How is it going to make me faster? How is it going to make me wealthier? How is it going to make me look more important? And as I said, we look at the world through those eyes. Now, even though I had mentioned it before in a video, I don't think I explained it well enough. And it was only when I was reading a book the other day. Now, at the moment, I'm dipping out of three or four different books and kind of jumping in here and there. And so I can't actually remember which book I had pulled this quote from. So I do apologize to the author, but it was really, really well explained. And the author had explained it as if you woke up with a headache this morning, or if you woke up with a migraine this morning, to you that is the most important thing in the world now you can look outside your door you can look at what's going on in politics you can look at child slavery you can look at world hunger you can look at the black lives matter you can look at the tragedy of all the people who are probably you know who have died from the coronavirus you can look at all those things you can look at the world burning outside your door but to you your toothache or your migraine is the biggest problem you have and your biggest worry and that is where all your focus is so if you have a product that does help somebody relieve a toothache or relieve a headache or a migraine even though you might think well compared to you know the other things in the world that I could be doing you know I could if I could some way I could save maybe some people through hunger or if I could come up with a cure for cancer or whatever it is those are kind of lofty big goals but to a person that's not suffering from either of those they aren't interested in that type of product they're not interested in that blog post they're not interested in any of those things that probably can make a big difference to the world because they are only solely focused on their single problem which is that toothache and that headache now if I met them in that world and I had a product that relieved toothaches or relieved headaches you can imagine how easy that would be for me to convince them to buy that product you know if I had that product in one hand or I had a bucket that I was collecting money from or for for world hunger which one do you think they would reach for faster again world hunger is probably a far far bigger problem than their toothache but again we're all selfish in that we are looking at the world through our lens of what's in it for me so they would probably snap that report out of my hand as quick as anything read through it to get the solution and get that relief from that toothache so if you have a product you know some people say well maybe my product isn't really going to make a big difference in the world you know think of it through your customers eyes what's the most important thing to them right now what are they looking for what are they focused on you know we, you might be feeling 100% well, but what if you stubbed your toe in the next few seconds? All your, your, your attention is going to be on that toe. You're going to be jumping around in pain. And again, as I said, the whole world could be around you, but you are going to close it all down and you are solely going to focus on your toe. So keep that in mind today. I hope it might be explained the other video I had released a while back about your customers being selfish or kind of having that little mantra in their head of what's in it for me. Their problems are huge to them compared to maybe the big world problems that are out there. And, you know, as I said, you know, it might look bad when somebody is probably grabbing for a report on Tutek rather than throwing cash into a bucket for world hunger. But that is just the way we are. We need to meet our customers where they are and then it's going to be very very easy to sell your product. So whatever you are selling today, fiction books, planners, colouring books, courses or whatever, think of your little customer as a selfish little sod and what are they looking for what is the problem that they are focusing on compared to maybe all the larger problems that are out there and again as i said if you can show them how they can get relief from that problem they have they will just snatch the hand off you and it'll be the easiest product 
or the easiest book you will have sold to them so keep that in mind today and again you know even in your own life you probably are well aware that that is how you look at life you look at through your own little lens we're all this little, little kind of selfish little sods who are looking at what's in it for me so keep that in mind today whatever your problem your customer has that is a huge problem to them and if you can help them solve that problem you are going to make an absolute fortune so as always i hope i've maybe enlightened you a little bit or have entertained you for a few minutes but as always thanks for sharing your time again today take care and have a great day bye bye